worst thing about camping is being hot when it's time to go to sleep. But don't worry, I got you covered in this video. Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to take a closer look at the fan that I just purchased for when I'm out camping. One of the reasons why I purchased this fan is to get some air circulation inside the Forerunner when I'm sleeping, especially at nighttime when it's hot. So this is the one that I just recently purchased right here and I decided to go with this one because of a lot of features. But before I uh, go there, I did purchase the 6 inch model as well as the 8 inch model and I think I'm going to go with the 8 inch model. So the features are actually in the backs of the box right here and we can go through them really quick. But the main thing that intrigued me was that it has the ability to set a timer from one hour to three hour to five hour. And uh, that timer is actually in the back of the fan right here. So if you can see, you have right here the ability to set the timer. And that is just really helpful, especially when you're sleeping at night and you don't need it to run all night, but only to run for a certain period of time to ensure the battery lasts long. Again, another added benefit is this fan has the largest battery pack that I can get with the built-in clip right here. And that is 12,000 milliamp hour battery. Of course, the battery is housed within the unit itself. But just really quick, if we take a look at the back, you have the power button here that turns the unit on. Every time you push this button, you have three modes. You have low fan speed, medium, and high. And when you're charging, they lit up blue. Uh, there's also an indicator over here on the USB charging port here. This light's red, and when it's green, it's completed. The USB here is for um, charging your phone or your other devices. But the neat thing about this is that you can control the fan speed with this. Push one time to turn it on, two times for medium speed, and press it a third for max fan speed. And to turn it off, push that one more time to turn the unit off. The other thing here is we have a built-in timer for one to, let me just turn it back on, and you can see I could put it for one hour, three hours, or five hours, and there's a built-in timer that will kick it off when the time reaches your set predetermined time right here of one hour, three hours, or five hours. The other added benefit to this unit is the built-in light. You have the ability to control brightness with low and high. Turns right off. But the neat thing about this guy is that you have this clamp at the bottom here that I'm gonna be using for clamping to my rack in the back and it makes it easy when you could just tamp it onto my shelf and then you can actually articulate this fan in almost any position you need it to point. So you could point it down and rotate it, put it in a certain angle where you need the fan to be pointing to. Um, aside from that, if you, you know, don't want to use this clip right here, it's got this neat little hook at the bottom here. And this hook is very useful if you decide to take it outside and hook it onto a tree or hook it onto a wire or a line or hook it onto anything that you can hook it onto. Uh, the other thing is that it does have again a beefy 12,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it claims to last um, 65 hours at low speed. The other thing is it's got this down here which is the remote that you can use. It's actually stored right here. This is the remote that you can use to turn the fan on and off and also control the timer and the fan speed. You also got a light control on this as well, but it's housed neatly in here just so you don't lose that. This is the eight inch fan and I decided to go with this one because it fits better in the Forerunner 
and it provides ample of not just direct fan blowing motion but also it's a bit wider in terms of its um, uh, blowing path all right and that is it for this video i just really wanted to show you this new item i've actually had to use it over the weekend already on the camping trip that i just came back from and it actually came in really handy because uh, temperature was set to be 100 here in the valley but up in the mountain it was still in the 90s during the day and it was mid 70s during the night it did start to cool off a bit but in the car with the windows cracked just a little bit it was still a bit hot so the fan actually came in and gave us some air and some movement in the car some flow in the car and that really helped us out uh, this past weekend I highly recommend this fan if you're looking for something small, compact, and portable like this unit here. Again, the reason I bought this is because of the battery pack and because it lasts a few days running at nighttime. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for stopping by and watching till the end. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments section below. And if you haven't already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.